Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. So if you remember, uh, earlier in 2016, I did a challenge called the Style Challenge. So I was thinking about it and I thought I want to do another style challenge. And I just thought it was such a good video and it got such a good response. And if you want to watch that, I'll put that up right now in the top right corner. That way you guys can go and check out my first style challenge. But I just discovered there were like more cartoons that I wanted to draw myself in. So right now I'm drawing in my style. And this is something typically I would wear. and. That's just the way I draw myself, and that's me. So then I decided for the first cartoon, let's see if you guys can figure this out. Of course, I got very attached to a cartoon called Gravity Falls. If you guys haven't seen Gravity Falls, you should check it out because I fell in love with it as soon as I started watching, like, I think it was the first two episodes. I was like completely hooked, and I binge watched the whole series on Hulu. But and I'm so sad that it's over and I really hope they bring it back, but I was just like, I wanna be in Gravity Falls so bad. So I was like, I this is mainly the reason why I wanted to do the style challenge again, because I wanted to draw myself as a Gravity Falls character. So the second character, let's see if you guys can figure this out, that I wanted to draw myself in the style of the Powerpuff Girls. I remember watching the Powerpuff Girls, like the original Powerpuff Girls in the 90s was one of my favorite, favorite TV shows on Cartoon Network. And I used to watch nonstop Cartoon Network. But have you guys ever noticed on the old, like the 90s version of Powerpuff Girls, the lines all over the Powerpuff Girls are super thick. So that's why um, I explained this in my Copic markers versus Prismacolor markers um, last week that I save my lining when I'm using Copic markers towards the end because I know that it'll, if I put on really, really thick lines, then if I go over it with Copic marker, since it's alcohol based, it might smear it or smudge it a little bit. So I always go in and line last. So this is a newer cartoon that I am completely obsessed with because I just watched it and I thought, how cool would it be if I drew myself as a troll character. So if you guys have seen Trolls from DreamWorks, they just released the DVD. I watched it about five times since so far, and I think it was released two weeks ago. But I was like, I'm drawing myself as a troll character. This is another reason why I wanted to do the style challenge again. Because when I was thinking of trolls, I was like, oh, I can just go crazy. What skin color am I gonna give myself? What hair color? Because if you guys have seen the newer trolls characters, like the old toys, they are just like, you know, they're like peach skinned or just various like, um, I don't know, yellow skinned and everything and they have crazy hair. But the new trolls, they got crazy skin colors, they're sparkly and they're, nothing matches. None of them like have like a, a specific color scheme. Some of them do, some of them don't. So I, I chose to make me this purple skin because I wanted to kind of match the outfit that I gave myself, my little character in my style. But... I wanted to give myself purple skin just because I think it'd be cool because I wanted to keep it in the galaxy color scheme because come on guys of course I would be a color color galaxy color scheme troll so I wanted TARDIS blue hair I wanted purple skin I wanted rosy pink cheeks and of course that pink nose and pink eyeshadow and oh and I had to give myself sparkly skin yes I would be a sparkle troll for the win but yes I just was I just went crazy with this because I just want to be a troll So the last cartoon style that I chose for myself is Winx Club so I was obsessed with this show when it first was released and then the dolls came out and all the um the, the cartoons every time you bought a doll you could buy 
like a DVD of an episode of Wings Club was included with the doll. So I was just like, I've always wanted to be a fairy. I mean, what little girl has not wanted to be a fairy in their lifetime? So I was like, uh, when I saw Wings Club as a little girl, I was just like, mm, I want to be one of them. And then I thought, well, since I'm getting all nostalgic with Powerpuff Girls, I'm going to go ahead and draw myself as a Winks fairy character. And I really, really love the hairstyle that the Winks fairies have because I loved giving myself that hairstyle where it's like defined with an outrageous bright color and then it that like represents a strand so I really had fun making my hair but it's just really cool to finally be a Winx character now that I'm all grown up I can actually draw myself as a Winx character <laughs> but yes so this was the last cartoon style and there we go guys that is the second cartoon style challenge. So you guys should definitely try to do the style challenge yourself. If you have not done it yet, then definitely give it a try. It's a lot of fun. Just draw yourself in your style. And then of course, pick out four or five of your favorite cartoons and draw yourself in that style. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you haven't seen my old style challenge, you go and check that out. I hope you guys have a most wonderful weekend and I will see you all later.